Hey, 40 degrees and raining, another one, same place, same time as the Spyderco. This here, Boca Rhino. Awesome, awesome little knife. Awesome knife. Got the Kydex sheath. Got, I don't really know, polymer handle. Not really sure what the handle is made of on this. Full tang blade, nice thick steel. You got this, not really a big fan of probably cut it off around here. I don't really need the frilly stuff. But the handle's so short on this thing, you kind of need that extra bit. So here's a knife out of the sheath. Different design, not really one a lot of you guys are used to. I know, I wasn't. I took a chance on it and I love it. This is a small knife, right? So this is my hand, about seven inches, and it goes a little past that. Small knife, excellent ergonomics. So you can hold it just like this, get the thumb up, get the finger up. The little, the lariat that comes with it gives you a little extra grip, which is really nice on a small knife. I don't, I'm not the kind of guy that puts big hand things on my knife usually, but I like this, hand things. Uh, whatever, you know what they're called. I'll put it in later. Uh, let's see, it's a boker, it's got excellent 12C27 steel. Uh, you're not going to be able to see that. Nope. You got the boker signature right there. You can kind of see that. The thing I like this small, you're looking for camp utility, you're looking for something that you can just pack, a little backpacking knife maybe, something tough and small. You got your big blade, maybe you got an axe, you got a machete, you got something else. You need a small blade just for everyday tasks. You need something. It's got a little heft of it, not too bad. I'd definitely pack it. it goes in the sheath nice and small. So the big thing about this, does not come with a, a belt clip, which is kind of a bummer. They sell a, uh, a clip that you can screw onto here for like five bucks. I'm probably not going to do that. Um, frankly, I just slip it into my pocket and it's no big deal, so slim, such a slim profile knife, uh, I have no issue with that. Uh, what I was thinking about doing is actually rigging up some paracord in here, putting it out there, maybe making that into a belt loop. That would work perfectly for me, uh, but belt loop's a really big deal for you guys. Maybe you want to look something else. There are plenty of other options out there, but for me, for excellent ergonomics, excellent balance, excellent feel, some pretty thick steel. I mean, if you want to look at this, this is a full tank blade. This is a good, I don't know, it's not quarter inch, maybe 3 16th inch steel. That thins out, not until right about there. That's pretty street sweet. I mean, that's a stiff knife. That's going to give you a lot of working power. And yeah, it doesn't really have the biggest point in the world. But me, I break off points more than I'd like to know. I like a good, solid, solid point. Let's see if I can get you a good, thick point there. And really get into things and get some girth into it. Anyway, love it. Boca Rhino. Give it a shot. Uh, this retails for about 50 bucks. And they sell a lot of variations on this if you're a collector and want a leather sheath or a bone handle that can do that for you. I'm, I don't really care. This is, a, this is just a ergonomic, slicing, perfect, camp, everything knife. So, there you go, for what it's worth. Good knife. Here we are on the tabletop. We're gonna finish up a review on the Boca Rhino. So, I made just a couple quick modifications to this. Threw some paracord on this. Uh, Put a belt through it now. Again, I didn't want to buy that tech lock for five bucks because I'm cheap. So I threw that on. We'll see how it works. Don't really know. Also cut off part of that and the lariat and uh, fired the end so it doesn't fray. So just real quick, let's go over the specs on this. So take this out. Here we go. We're looking at let's say six inches long at a width the end of the blade 
Oops, what I'm interested in. Eighth of an inch. There we go. It's a pretty even measurement. The back is a tad bigger, about three sixteenths. As you can see there. It does give it a little back heavy, but the balance is actually pretty nice. Let's go ahead and weigh it. Mr. Scallon. Check out three and three quarter ounces. Let's see what it is with the sheath. We were looking at four and five eighths ounces. So with that. We have actually a pretty decent idea. So four and five eighths total with a little paracord on it. Um, it's still under five ounces, which means I'd backpack it. Um, there's some other options that are lighter backpacking, but I'd take the full tang construction for eighth of an inch stainless. Going back to sit three sixteenths makes it a pretty beasty knife for light chores. Um, I'd still do it. I'd still pack it. If you're getting under five ounces, you're doing pretty good for a full tang blade. Uh, and of course, around camp at a cabin, I would definitely put this on the belt. Um, again, cost we're looking at about fifty bucks. For me, that's that's even. I'd do that. Um, I'd do it again. Well, I already did it, so I'd do it again and I'd recommend it to people. Um, this probably won't appeal to a lot of people since it is kind of a weird design. Uh, I like weird designs. I think it's cool and oddly functional, which is good for me. Um, so, yeah, anything more than just a light duty camp backpack, day knife, whatever, I probably wouldn't use it. But if that's what you're in the market for, want something higher quality uh, from a good brand, I'd go with this. So, that's my thoughts on it. Take it easy, guys.